Um, just, uh, just give me a second. needed a little fun intro because you've seen the title of this video. I'm gonna tell you why I took down my coming out video. I've kind of like scripted some things out, just wrote out some ideas of what I want to talk about because I'm gonna be very vulnerable, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I don't know, it might get a little heavy at times. I'm gonna do my best to keep it entertaining, keep it light, keep the mood, you know, up. Like I usually like to keep it on my channel. This is really important to me. This really matters to me. I want to make sure I'm clear with my intention because that's sort of why the intention for my initial coming out video wasn't authentic to me. And so, I, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna explain. Okay. On August 7th, 2016, I uploaded a video titled Coming Out, where I shared nine thoughts, because nine is my lucky number, about coming out, and I have since taken that video down. I wanted to explain why making that video was important to me and then what prompted the decision to take it down off of my channel. When I had made that video in 2016, I had just graduated from university. I went to Juilliard in New York City for dance, and I had just finished filming season five of The Next Step. The show had been a huge hit for the last three years since it had started airing in 2013, and basically the entire time since the show first ever aired, my comment section on social media was flooded with comments and debates about my sexuality. I had already come out to my family and my friends in real life. Everyone that was close to me knew. I had already openly dated my first boyfriend, but the internet didn't know. And to be honest with you, at that time, those constant comments or not even comments, but people like arguing and debating about whether I was gay or dating a boy or a girl or whatever it was. People were just like fixated on my sexuality and those comments really affected me negatively. To give you a little backstory, I got bullied really badly when I was a kid. Well, not even when I was a kid, like through elementary school, through high school, and even kind of at university. I remember in grade four, I was playing double dutch with my friends on the blacktop and a group of girls in the grade above me started laughing and told me that I walked like a girl. So I fixated on that and I fixed my walk so I would walk stiffer and not like a girl. I was teased for only having friends who were girls even though none of the guys in my school wanted to even be friends with me. I was made fun of for being a male dancer Obviously, I mean, that one wasn't really a surprise. And even when I was dating girls, I was still called gay. And they meant it in a bad way. Boys would chase me home from high school, calling me the F slur. And then even at university, at Juilliard studying dance, surrounded by tons of like-minded people, tons of people who identify as part of the LGBT community. They had this saying at Juilliard, well, not like everyone at Juilliard, particularly the gay guys at Juilliard had this saying, gay by May. And they would say it to the freshman boys that they thought or assumed were closeted and like lying to themselves. They'd be like, ah, that's okay. You'll be gay by May, like by the end of your first year. A lot of the gay guys at Juilliard would pressure me or I even had some tell me that they didn't want to hang out with me until I figured myself out. And all that did, all that pressuring and name calling and teasing and discussion, all that it did was not make me feel safe or accepted to come out. It made a confusing situation even more confusing and anxiety producing. I'm an overthinker. I already had millions of thoughts in my head swirling around, questioning things, debating, you know, like putting myself through hell. It just added to the turmoil that I was already feeling. I'm gonna go back in time a little bit. So two years before I actually posted the coming out video on YouTube, um, before I had come out to my family or my friends or anything, I actually got outed by a friend at university, which 
actually now looking back on it, I would not call that person my friend. At the time, I thought they were, but anyways. He had noticed me sneaking out of the dorm building late at night a lot of times and confronted me in dance rehearsal one night. He had pieced together where I was sneaking off to. I was secretly starting to kind of date this guy who would eventually become my boyfriend. And I, at the time, wanted to figure it out for myself before telling people. And he kind of took that away from me. He told me I either come out to our entire dance class the next day or he would tell everyone for me. I made him promise to wait until I told my best friend. So we then went back to the dorm building and like that night at 11.30, he was like, all right, go, go tell her now. Cause he was like, tomorrow I'm telling everyone. So I went up to her dorm room and like banged on her door, woke her up to tell her that I was kind of dating this guy. And I mean, it went awesome. She was great about it. And then the next day I showed up to ballet class and he had already told the entire class. And it was so awkward and uncomfortable. I just remember walking into the dance studio and all of my classmates kind of like slowly stopped talking and looked at me and some of them ran up to me and were like, congratulations. And I was like, for what? Like I wanted them to squirm a little, like how fucking dare you? It was so, it was so uncomfortable. It, I felt none of the relief that I had imagined I would feel when I came out. <sighs> okay, that got that got heavy. I need a 10 second dance break. Okay, 10 second, 10 second dance break. Woo! Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. That's it. <sighs> All right, better. Let's get back to the story. <sighs> so then, so then after all that, after being out at a university, after coming out to my family and my friends back at home, after openly dating my first boyfriend, then I made my coming out video on YouTube. Honestly, because I felt pressured to do so. Everything I posted, people in the comment section would be like, you're gay. Is he gay? And then people would fight about it in the comment section. It stressed me out. It stressed my mom out. It was just like stressful because if I would delete the comments, then those people would get back in there and be like, he deleted the comment. That's confirmation. We know, gah, 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 gah. If I didn't, then more people would chime in. A lot of people too, like rushing to my defense, being like, don't be homophobic. Like you should be accepting, da, da, da. But then it would just be a whole like, I'm not homophobic. I was just asking like, People, I'm not kidding you, it would be like threads of people fighting on like a picture I posted of my cat. And I know people would be like, just ignore it. Well, I, I couldn't, like that's good advice <laughs> if you're not an overthinker, but I could not just ignore it. In that original video, I got very emotional. I cried, but I didn't cry out of feeling relieved to finally you know, share this online. I cried out of anger. I was mad at the bullies. I was mad at people at university that outed me and mad at the random people on the internet who caused me so much grief over just existing. If you've been subscribed to this YouTube channel since the beginning, you'll remember that originally it was just my channel. It was just called Brennan Klost. Then for a while, I posted with a friend of mine and the content still very much revolved around the next step and stuff I was interested in. And she sort of tagged along and made content with me. And then when we had a falling out and I took the channel back over just myself, I ended up going through and purging through some of our old videos. Every time I came across that coming out video, it brought up such negative emotions from the past. It didn't represent what I wanted it to, which should have been a celebration or that relief that I was so caught up on feeling for finally like telling my truth to the world. I never felt relieved. I didn't feel like that coming out video represented what I wanted it to. Instead, it sort of came from a place of resentment rather than relief and loving myself and accepting myself. It was sort of me like stewing on hate from my past. So I deleted it. And now I'm making this video for myself. I'm coming out as not straight because that feels most authentic to me. I might be gay, I might be bi, I might be pansexual. I don't really know what the best label is for me. So yeah, 
that's where I'm at. I've worked a lot. Through the pandemic, I feel like I was in my apartment, in my head, figuring out myself. I actually did an interview when Tiny Pretty Things came out, and I think the journalist made the headline, Tiny Pretty Things, Brennan Klost, on why he's no longer labeling his sexuality. So I've I've talked about this before. It was sort of a, another way of coming of age for me, another way of understanding and loving myself through the pandemic. I feel like I kind of got a new handle on myself. I spent a lot of time alone, which if you haven't spent a lot of time alone, highly recommend it. I think it's very important for you to be okay with being by yourself and be okay with yourself. As awful as all the lockdowns were, the silver lining is that I finally love and accept my indecisive, confusing self. Yeah, what's kind of funny is I think I actually technically came out online before ever coming out in real life and then publicly coming out online. And I say that in that like, I definitely found an online community over like chat roulette or like Omegle or whatever. I don't even remember how I found these people. There's like two guys in particular that I've stayed friends with that I met on the internet and we sort of confided in each other and could be our authentic selves in these little like online conversations or my like internet friends. And that was really important for me. If you're living in a place where you feel like you can't be yourself yet, it will get better. And until then, I hope you have an online community. And if not, maybe some people in the comment section of this video will be the kind and loving people that I hope that they are. And you'll be able to connect with some people that will make you feel less alone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you take anything from this video, it would be that if you maybe suspect that someone in your life hasn't told you that they're gay or that they're bi or whatever label they feel fits them, if you feel like they haven't told you or they're hiding something, let them come to it on their own time because there's nothing worse than being rushed or being pressured or being made to feel unworthy. All right, well, that's all for me. Sorry for the heavy video, but I felt like this was important for me to make and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week for another new video.